Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologists. Today, we're gonna do the short unboxing and also reviewing the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 gaming headset. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box, you will find the support card and the quick start guide, the DTS Headphone X activation card, the mic and audio splitter, and lastly, the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 headset itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 headset has dimensions of 266.7 by 246.38 by 76.2 mm and a weight of 272 grams. The HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 is the latest version of the Stinger line. This model only comes in black. This is a lightweight headset because the materials used for the frame are plastic. It has a headband adjustment slider that adjusts the height to fit your head, though the sliders move easily when adjusting. There is a HyperX branding as always at the top of the headband, which also has a background similar to a carbon fiber design. At the bottom of the headband is a cushion for additional comfort. The cushion used on the ear cups is made from a cozy leatherette and a memory foam. Once we remove the ear cups, it will expose the 50mm driver. As with previous Stinger headsets, the microphone is attached to the headset. You can swivel down to turn on the microphone and up to turn it off. The microphone is bidirectional. It also includes a pop filter to minimize the popping sounds. An in-ear volume adjustment can be found on the right ear cup to adjust your volume on the fly. But remember, it only adjusts the volume of the headset and not the volume of your system unit. The cable for the headset is not removable and has a length of 2 meters but it's not braided, and the connection uses a 4-pole jack. Also, an audio splitter is available for PC use. The ear cups can be rotated 90 degrees to lay flat on the table, but it is impossible to lay flat while hanging around your neck, as it is small. Hello mic test 1, 2, 3. This is the output of the microphone of the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2. I have my AC on. No tweaks on the audio or audio editing done to the output. I test the headset on the FPS games I play, like Apex Legends and Valorant. The footstep sound is one of the most important things you should hear while playing FPS games. With this headset, it is clear to the ears. The bass has good sound output, that's why you can hear the footsteps clearly with a boomy effect. The mids and treble are quite good too. As I tried to listening to the Bohemian Rhapsody, the vocals and the instruments were clear. But noise isolation is kind of bad as you can hear the dogs barking outside your window or any noise produced by cars or motorcycles. Here are my final thoughts. The HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 is a good budget gaming headset. It has a sound output that is almost on par with high-end gaming headsets, but I still prefer the HyperX Cloud Alpha S and HyperX Cloud 2 headsets, which I tried and used for many years. But if you look at the pricing, this is worth buying. The design is almost going for the HyperX Cloud design, and this is much better than the previous Stinger series of headsets. But you might be careful in handling this headset, like from falling or accidental pulling of your child, as this headset is made of mostly plastic. Overall, the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 is recommendable to buy, especially for those who want a premium-looking headset but are on a budget. The performance is great but hopefully HyperX will improve it more while staying on the budget. You can buy the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 for around the price of 2,495 pesos at your nearest HyperX affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.